This is your guide to collecting like terms. When we use the phrase collecting like terms, what we mean is we want to write some algebra in a shortened way. So we collect together any letter that is the same within an expression. So here we've got terms including A's and B's. We can only collect similar terms together. So for this first example, we've got A plus A. We can write that as 2A. We then need to add on three lots of B. So we need to add 3B. For the second example, here we've got two different letters again, C and D. Treat them separately, do one at a time. So if we start with C, we've got 5C. And whenever we're simplifying, we always look at the symbol that is just in front of the next term. So here, the next term with C in is 4C, and just in front of that, there is a plus. So we need to do 5C plus 4C, so 9C. We then look at the other letter. So here, we've got plus 3D, so that's like saying positive 3. We then need to add on D. If a letter does not have a number in front, it means there is just one of them. So here we are doing 3D plus 1D. So positive 3 plus 1 is positive 4D. That's why we would put plus 4D. For the next examples, we're going to start bringing in some minuses. Same idea. Start with one letter at a time. So 8E plus 2e, and we know we are adding because we always look at the symbol in front of the term that we are using. So here we've got 8e plus 2e, which would give us 10e. Moving on to the f's, here we've got minus 4f. So if you imagine a number line and we start on minus 4, we would need to add on 7. So starting at minus 4, adding on 7, so going up your number line, you would get to positive 3, so that would become plus 3f. For the next example, we've got g squared. Now this is treated exactly the same. We don't do anything with the powers. We are just collecting together how many g squareds there are. So again, if we use the same idea, 5g squared... And here is the other g squared term, so we are going to do minus 8g squared, because that's the symbol in front of the g squared term. 5 minus 8 would give us minus 3, so it's minus 3g squared. For the second part, we look at the h's. Here, we have got positive 3h. So if you imagine again, starting on a number line at positive 3, and then taking away 5. So 3 take away 5 is minus 2, so we would have minus 2h.